Alright everyone, today I'm going to be making a video on this GE Thinline air conditioner, what is believed to be from the 1960s. This air conditioner is original to the house. Um, this room that it's in now, which is the garage, used to be the living room. And the way I know that was because there is a gas wall heater in here and there are two light fixtures that are in this house and in this room now what I imagine this would have been like was there was probably a window probably over here or probably right here um, there are two light fixtures here a ceiling fan where this one is now and this didn't exist right here but this room was never a garage this room was probably open to the whole entire um, house this wall probably did not exist back whenever this house was originally built and this was the kitchen so the kitchen is in the same area this room would have gone out to a screened in porch which is where the dogs sit and it would be open to the TV room which is on the same ground level as the kitchen so this house has a ton of history for it but the nice thing is is that this AC unit still exists today and I have no plans on removing it because this unit absolutely rips now this was built during the same time that my GEW 12 box fan was built, around the 1960s. And whenever I say that this thing rips, it rips. This thing gets cold. It still has the original charge, all original components, all original controls. It works, and that's all it needs to do. It is insanely simple. It's not complicated. It doesn't have any eco modes on it. It just has on and off. That's all it's got. You either have a fan function, a high fan speed with cooling, and a low fan speed with cooling, and a dial to change the setting that you want. And it just works. It works beautifully. Whenever I was here doing distance learning through high school, this thing absolutely ripped whenever I was doing workouts in here, and I felt completely comfortable in this, in this room. With the ceiling fan on, there's no difference in you being in here, and there's no difference being inside with the central air. Anyways, enough about ranting about how great this thing is. This unit is a 115 volt um, through the wall air conditioner. If you could tell by the way it was outside, there is no vents on the side of it. Outside, there is actually one vent on the back and one vent on the front, and that is all the inside stuff and all the outside stuff. So it is specifically made for a through the wall. This was installed. You can tell that it was original because this is installed in the wall. Um, there's even an outlet that is next to where it's plugged in right now by the old mob. And that is where it's plugged into the wall by the wall heater. See the original cord going down. That probably would have been covered. And here is the um, settings so you just have fan low cool and high cool low cool is a low fan speed high cool is a high fan speed and the nice thing is is 10 turn it past 10 and this will keep the air conditioner on all the time um, so it'll turn off if it basically gets too cold so that way the coil doesn't freeze over but you can use this for drying so if it is pretty humid in here it'll go ahead and stay on this is the way of how low this thermostat goes. Now for one, nice good click too. One, you can just simply use that to use the low or high cool speeds. So if you want a low fan speed, you just simply put it all the way to one, and then it'll go ahead and go to that. Unless it's insanely hot in here, then of course it will turn on. Turn this back to seven. Um, close, open, that's the air exchanger. You have to wiggle it. 
and it is a very aggressive thing, but it is a full-size door that spans the entire length of the unit. And see here, you can see this is what we can do. Cooling and dehumidification. Um, push low cool and high, or high cool. You can even see, look how good this font is. Sorry, I just had to say how good this font is. This print is immaculate. Cooling and dehumidification. Push low cool or high cool button. Set the temperature to the desired position. Close the air exchanger. Recirculation of room air without cooling. Push fan button. Close air exchanger. Cooling with air exchange. Push cool or high cool button. Push low cool or high cool button. Set the thermostat to desired position. Open air exchanger. Air exchange without cooling. Push fan button. Open air exchanger. Simple as that. No type of crap that you need to do. No energy saving, no nothing. It's just a unit that works. So we'll go ahead and get a look at the coil now, which is in amazing condition. You can't see in there because there's no light coming through the other end, but this coil is in absolutely immaculate condition. I'm looking for a piece of foam. I had to move the thermostat away from the coil because the this unit does not have a blower in it. It has a very deep pitch blade for the inside, and that sucks the air in. Now it is plenty powerful pushing air out, but it is not powerful push pulling air in. Now, you may notice, you may think, oh no, it recirculates air, but it doesn't because General Electric was smart enough back then, not today, but back then was smart enough to make these aggressively pitched upwards right where you want the air to go to push the hot air off the ceiling and bring it right to the air conditioner to be cooled. So we'll go ahead and get a look at the information now. So I pulled the cover off of it but uh, before I go ahead and show you the information I just want to show you the quality of this unit. You know that whenever this thing was built it was built to last. You have a metal case that's on the bottom. You have another metal pan that's made for everything to mount to. You have a nice big thick suction line and nice big thick liquid line coming from the compressor. You have a metal case cover, metal bolts, a metal case where all the electronics for this thing is stored. You have a nice big cord going to this unit. And look at this. A metal shroud to direct the airflow away from the coils. You have a nice hard plastic, very thick plastic might I add. That's very thick plastic fan guard. Here's something you definitely won't see today. A metal rod, completely metal air exchanger setup. Metal, metal, metal. That is quality. You have metal bolts holding this thing all together. You got a nice big coil that is metal on both sides. This is metal here. Still metal. Still metal. This is absolutely the pinnacle of quality. General Electric does not make anything like that today. You want to know why? That's a General Electric washer right there. I bet you a model made during the same time as these does not look anything like that. Anyways, now ranting, now done ranting. The reason why it's so good, it's made in USA. Where? In Louisville, Kentucky. Its model number is 1RL407A. It is an 8100 BTU unit. It takes F22 and 2.5 pounds. And this unit still has all of it inside. Seriously, this unit still has all of that F22 in there. So it is original charge, completely original, has not been messed with. 
it draws 1330 watts it draws 15 amps it has a 15 amp fuse oh my gosh it draws 115 volts man this thing is quality I'll go ahead and get you the full view of the entire sticker with the light so if anybody wants to look at this even more I will gladly give that to you sorry just trying to get the light situation figured out come on there we go let's see if we can get this here this little information around the corner is hiding There you go. That's the quality of this. Now, I would pull this shroud off, but because this is a through the wall unit, I can't take it out. So getting this thing apart is a very big pain. I want to go ahead and record how easy it is to put this unit back together because there are so many companies nowadays claiming about how easy it is to clean their cheap modern pieces of junk. This unit has full access. I have full access with this. I could clean this unit out in a heartbeat. It's super easy to clean. Take a paintbrush with a vacuum cleaner. Bam. It's clean. And I just want to show you how easy it is to put, a, put back together. And this is plastic probably from the 1960s that I mind you. All you have to do is take your metal cord or your cord, line it up, and just push. And that's it. The unit is back together. And you want to see how easy it is to take apart? Push down on the two tops, pull up, and the unit is apart again, ready to be cleaned. And the filter cleaning is even easier. It doesn't have a filter in it, but I'm going to get one because I want this thing to last. It works perfectly fine. Perfectly simple to clean. Go ahead and turn this thing on. As soon as the pressure washer lets go of me. We're gonna go ahead and start it off on the low. This is super quiet. 10 times quieter than anything. You can hear the refrigerant pumping around. This is one healthy, that's one healthy air, air conditioner and one healthy compressor. Mind you, this thing is sat in the sun all morning too. Where this is located, the sun rises and hits it directly. This thing is already cold. Already ripping. It's already great. Go ahead and turn it up to high. And on high, it doesn't actually sound any more different. But the airflow is phenomenal. I can see the old owners in this using this almost every single day because of how well it performed in the family room. ahead and get you guys nice up and close to it so that way you guys can see see the airflow is great coming out of that see I'm, I'm just sitting here right in front of it no airflow whatsoever right on top airflow and it's cold this thing has only been running for about 30 seconds and it is cold are going.
refrigerant flowing through it. This is incredible. damp. It's already pulling moisture out of the air. This thing is great. Absolutely great. And it's quiet. That is the most incredible thing. There is no air conditioner today that is this quiet and performs this well. This is great. This unit works amazing. These things are absolute treasures. If you have one and it works, don't get rid of it. Keep it. Because you will be so sad if you trade it in for a modern piece of junk. Once again, completely controlled mechanically, not electronically. Absolutely great. And just for giggles, we'll go ahead and take it outside. Let you guys listen to that compressor a little bit better. It's coming away. It's nice and warm, indicating that the coils are working good. I will keep this thing until it stops running. Because this thing is a treasure. I'll go ahead and turn it off now so that way you guys can hear the refrigerant flow. There you have it. 1960s General Electric Model 1RL407A. Oh, I forgot a number. <laughs> Couldn't see that. Correction, this is a model number. 1RL407AZ-1 There you have it. 1960s piece of art in the form of an air conditioner. Good old American product. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more.